Welcome to the second video of tutorials on Warnet simulations. In the first video, I performed simulations in Sumo tool and we developed a single highway and we also allow a car to travel on that highway. In today's experiment, we are going to define two highways, one for the traffic from left side to the right side and other for the traffic that will go from right side to the left side. So we are going to define two highway scenarios in Sumo. If you remember, the first file that we need is to define nodes because uh, in Sumo, the street network is uh, represented by, or you can say it is consist of nodes or you can say junctions. And these nodes will be connected by edges, which is another file okay, that will actually connect these nodes together. So first we need to create the, uh, the node file. I have copied and pasted the code here, but I will provide the link in the description so that you can copy uh, the code from there, from GitHub and use it on your own for practices. We need to define different IDs uh, for, each, for each node. The ID must be unique and you can use any meaningful ID. The first three line of code is for the highway, the first highway that will go, go from right side to the left side while the last three line of code is for the second highway which will go from the left side to the right hand side. And again I am using to consider one kilometer highway so you can see the highway will start from x coordinate zero and it will go up to 1000. Uh, meter because the, the unit of this measurement is meter. So I am developing a one kilometer highway. The Y coordinate is same. For the second highway, again, I am using the length of one kilometer. So it will start at zero meter and it will go up to 1000 meter. However, I'm going to keep some distance between these two highways. So you can see here the Y coordinate is Y. It means like the first highway is separated from the second highway by 20 meter. It is the gap between in between the two highways. Okay. And also we need to give proper IDs to these nodes also. As we are going to create three nodes for the first highway and three nodes for the second highway. So we will be needing two edge files for connecting these three nodes and two edge file for connecting these nodes. So let's save this file and you remember the extension for the file, the node file is second.node.xml. I have created a folder on the desktop, the name of the folder is second and I'm going to store all the files in the second folder. Save this file and that's it. Now we have the node file but still we need another piece of information and that is to create the edge file. Edge file is used for connecting the nodes together. So here is the code for the edge file. If you give attention here, uh, we are creating two edges to connect the three, nodes, the three nodes and you can define which node you want to connect with which node. So for it, you give attention here to the first line, I am going to connect a node and the name of that node is right to left one right to left one. I'm going to connect this with right to left two. So you can see from in the two, we have the name right to left two. And as we give a proper ID to the node, we need to give a proper ID to the, to the edge also. So the, the name of this edge is one to two R, like from one node to the second node and for the right direction. And the name of the second edge is out R, like this is the last node. Uh, that we are going to the last edge that will connect the last nodes and also you can define the number of lanes So I'm going to define the number of lanes. keep the number of lanes to three similarly for <coughs> the second the second uh, Highway you can link the three nodes by creating two edge file When you create this file you have to save it again. I'm going to <coughs> Store this file in the second folder give it a name Second because it is the second experiment the extension is edg save the file and that's it now we have the two files but still we need to make a network which means we need to connect these node file with the edges okay so for that uh, we are going to use a tool and if you remember the name of the tool is net convert okay uh, which is used for creating a sumo network 
I'm going to use command based version of the net convert but a graphical user interface is also available and the name of that is net edit and these tools come together when you install sumo to sumo simulator so <coughs> I'm going to paste the code like we provide two files node files second.node.xml h file second.h.xml and it will create an output file second.net.xml in the same folder first we need to change the folder so let's move to the folder which is on the desktop and the name of the folder is second now run this command here it will give some warning maybe if you haven't set the variables for the sumo home but ignore it the important message is success now a network file has been created if you check the second folder you will see now we have a third file and the name of the third file is second.net.xml now we have the roads the highways we have the network but still we need to generate some traffic and for that we need another file and if you recall from the first experiment uh, that file is known as the root file Yes, in this case we are dealing with two highways okay and I'm going to put a vehicle on each highway one on the highway which goes from right to left and second on the highway which goes from left to right so I'm going to create two root files and I will not go into the details of these file because I have already explained them in the first experiment but just to remind the, the basic concepts that we need to define a vehicle type the ID you can give it any ID I'm giving it the ID of car the length of the car is 5 Acceler accelerator and the accelerator is defined here Sigma is a value the driver behavior the maximum speed that this car or the cars that will follow this type is 100 km per hour and the color you can define it from here now we have the car but we need to define the route this car will travel on which highway so you can define it here root ID is right to left traffic like this and then we have another route uh, which is like left to right so we have defined two routes and we have defined a vehicle type which is of type car two routes and one car uh, one type of car now we need to create car of this type vehicle of this type and you can assign it any of the defined route either this route or this route so the IDs are here we will be using these IDs here so I'm going to create a vehicle the vehicle will depart at the first second when the simulation start after first second a car you will see a car the ID of that car is vehicle 0 and the route that this car will take is right to left traffic which is here this route and this route is actually using the edges 1 to 2 R and then out okay so it will lie it will be using the two edges which is here you can see uh, the right to left like first it will go on this route 1 to 2 R and then on this route like it will travel the whole 1 kilometer highway so this is for the first vehicle now I'm going to create a second vehicle right it will also depart it will also depart <coughs> after the first second of the simulation but here the ID is different vehicle 1 and also the route is different because this car will follow the left to right highway you can see this highway and the edges here are 1 to 2 L and out L so you can see I am defining the, the route left to right uh, 1 to 2 1 to 2 L and out L okay so let me summarize we are defining route file first we can define a type of the vehicle and then we can define the number of routes so here we have two routes one for the traffic right to left and second for the traffic left to right now we need to define vehicle one vehicle will travel on this route and the second vehicle will travel on this route save this file the extension for this file is R O U again I'm using the same folder to save this file now we have the node edge and root file but still we need the last file and that is the configuration file sumo cfg so i'm going to create a new file the code is here input file 
we don't need to provide the node in edge file because we already have the net file which have glued the two files together so network file is here second.net.xml root file the traffic that will follow these routes is here second.root.xml and this is <coughs> for the time the simulation will start at zero and it will go up to 1000 seconds and each step is like advanced after one millisecond so that's it save the file in the same folder however the name that we are going to give to this file is the second dot sumo cfg and also save it in the same folder okay now we have all the files available what we need to do is to call the the simulator now sumo gui graphical user interface allow some delay so that we can see what is happening in the simulation go to the folder on the desktop the name of the folder is second and you will see second dot sumo or cfg open it and then you will see the highway you can change the look of the scenario i prefer to use real world scenario run the simulation and now you will see two highways with each with three lanes. the distance between the two is 20 meter and you will see a car traveling from left to right and another car traveling from right to left if you want to define another car another car that is simple you will need to make changes only to the root file for example i want two cars on each highway so define another car here <coughs> i want it to depart after five seconds give it a name we go to same route okay and now I want to define another vehicle for the second highway. Give it a name, an ID. In this case, it's three because I'm starting from zero. And it will travel on right to left traffic. Save this file. Recompile the simulation. Run the simulation. And now you will see. Make something. Yes, you will see two cars. But we don't see any car on the other side because I make some mistake here in the code. Let me check. I think we need to make change here because the route is left to right traffic and the depart is also 5. Save the file. Let's see. Recompile, run. Yes, we have now two vehicles from right to left and one vehicle from left to right. You can also increase the number of vehicles here. Okay, so I trace the error. If you can see, um, it gives me a warning that we need to define the depart time in an order so the first vehicle will depart at one second the second will depart at second the third at third and the fourth one at fourth save the file and again a reload the simulation now run it and now you will see two cars on each highway car number one car number two three and four so that is how you can define a uh, multiple highways in sumo and how you can place more than one vehicles on each side of the highway thank you in the next video i will show you how to uh, instead of defining individual uh, individual vehicles how we can define actually the flow of a vehicle multiple vehicle on the same highway take care and goodbye